today i will discuss about fap and sam rules in contact lens the meaning of fap and sam is fap means flutter at plus sam means stepper at minus in contact lens practice our objective is to get optimal fit of contact lens fitting but if the fit is stiffer fit than optimal fit we have to add minus power to the contact lens prescription and if the fit is flatter fit than the optimal fit we have to add plus power to the contact lens prescription you might be thinking why do we need to add minus or plus power to the contact lens prescription if the fit is stiffer or flatter let's see in the next slide for stiffer fit we add minus power and for flatter fit we add plus power to the contact lens prescription so that patient's visual acuity doesn't become affected now again you might be thinking how can stiffer and flatter fit affect the visual acuity to understand this first you need to know what is tear lens the tears accumulate between the back surface of contact lens and anterior surface of cornea acts as a lens which is called tear lens here in this figure this is cornea this is contact lens and the tears accumulate between posterior surface of contact lens and anterior surface of cornea is called tear lens if the contact lens is stiff fit then the space between the cornea and contact lens is more at the center than periphery which acts as a convex lens this is an example of stiff contact lens fitting this is cornea this is contact lens due to stiff fit the space between the contact lens and cornea is more at the center and the space between the contact lens and cornea at periphery is less due to which a convex tear lens is formed and if the contact lens fit is flat fit then the space between the cornea and contact lens is less at center and more at periphery which acts as a concave lens this is an example of flat fit of contact lens here this is cornea this is contact lens and the space between the contact lens and cornea is less at the center and the space between the contact lens and cornea is more at periphery due to which a concave tear lens is formed so in stiff fit due to formation of convex tear lens rays will focus in front of the retina and patient will become myopic and in flat fit due to formation of concave tear lens rays will focus behind the retina and patient will become hypermetropic which will affect the visual acuity of the patients that's why for stiffer fit we add minus power and for flatter fit we add plus power to the contact lens prescription so that patient's visual acuity doesn't become affected now another question arises if the fit is stiff or flat then we can change the parameters and get optimal fit why fab and sam rule let's see in the next slide sometimes for better stability of contact lens especially rigid gas permeable contact lens we need stiffer fit than optimal fit even with the optimal fit few patients may feel discomfort with the contact lens we can go for flatter fit in such cases so in such cases we need fab and sam rules so that the patient's visual acuity doesn't become affected so the overall summary is to get stiffer fit we will increase actual clear reading and decrease the power of contact lens prescription so that patient's visual acuity doesn't get affected and to get flatter fit we will decrease actual clear reading and increase the power of contact lens prescription so that patient's visual acuity doesn't get affected Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.